Hi, this is Rick Levine for Tarot.com here today to talk with you about the Aries full moon on October 5th. This occurs at 11.40 a.m., and that's Pacific Daylight Time. The full moon in Aries is always an interesting full moon because it represents the basic polarity in astrology, the polarity between Aries and Libra. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. Libra is the first sign of the second half of the zodiac. And so Aries represents I, me, mine. Libra represents the relationship that I have with you, the relationship that my stuff has with your stuff. So we have in the Aries full moon this kind of balance point. The sun in Libra is reminding us that everything has has a, a, a point with which we can balance it with its opposite. Whether those opposites are me and you, or good and evil, or up and down, or male and female, Libra establishes the balance point. However, the full moon in Aries is opposite Libra, and, it, and the, the moon is how we feel. It's how I feel. And so I am feeling my stuff. The Aries full moon has me full of my perspective that I still need to balance with yours. All full moons are culminations of cycles, and this in a way is the bringing of this relationship dance to fruition. A couple of important things about this particular full moon. First of all, the full moon itself is opposite Mercury, meaning that the full moon is always opposite the sun, so the sun is lined up with Mercury in Libra. So we're going to have communication in the game. We're going to be using language to help work out this, this dilemma, this difference between self and not self. The other piece of the puzzle is that this full moon in Aries to Libra is square Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto adds intensity, power, drama, suspicion, subterfuge. Pluto is, is about transformation. It's about death and rebirth. And so this full moon, even though light and easy on the surface, that would be the Libra balance, diplomatic, uh, gracious, even though it's coming from a place of this is what I feel, that Aries moon energy, the fact of the matter is that the square to Pluto reminds us that we can be responsible and understand what we say and what we feel. But sometimes the effects and the ramifications of our actions have uh, results that aren't what we necessarily expect or even need or want, and yet we need to contend with them. For Tarot.com, I'm Rick Levine.